to the point. Nice move by D'Agostino, who has an opening. Wrist shot goes stick side just wide. Racine went down and the puck went up. Just missed the near post. Now deep it goes for John Nisley. Past him. Chase for the puck. Moffitt able to get there. Puts it out of the zone. Guptill with the pass left side. Oh, there's a huge hit along the boards as Kevin Lynch was stepped into hard. And Cornell takes the puck. Back the other way they go with Yoakum Ryan. Ryan one on one. Loses an edge, goes down as Chase on play defense. But Cornell keeps the puck. Furlan, cross ice. Nice pass. Opportunity and they score! First goal of the game is a power play tally by Joel Lowry, and it's 1 0 Cornell. A real good finish, keeps the puck low, but let's go back into the defensive zone. McDonald, the Michigan native, takes out a Michigan player, Lynch, and helps turn the puck over. Away go the Cornell Big Red, and then the pass from Furlan over to Lowry. Great lesson right here, John. He keeps it on the ice. He doesn't try and keep it up, put it upstairs. He puts it upstairs, could be stopped. Racine doesn't find it right there. Goes 5-0, and the Big Red get a big first goal. So the sophomore from Calgary, Joel Lowry, who played every game last year as a freshman, scores the goal. Yes, his dad, Dave, played over 1,000 games in the NHL over 17 seasons. So son borrows a little bit from dad. Fourth of the year for Lowry, and it's 1-0 Cornell, late stages of the first period.